It's time to focus on seniors with Helping Seniors TV. The television show designed to make you aware of senior issues and needs, as well as to acquaint you with the resources available to help you age in place and with dignity. Now, here's your host, Joe Steckler. I'm Kay Kaiser and welcome to Helping Seniors, the television arm of Helping Seniors of Brevard County. Our show is designed to provide you with information on how to develop your own aging and care plans. Our topic today is staying at home safely for seniors. Joining me today is Elaine DeRemer Cook, president of Handy Pro of the Space Coast. Welcome, Elaine. Thank you, Kay. Well, you have an interesting background, if I can put it in that perspective. You actually um, have worked as an engineer, I understand. Yes. Now, if, if you would be so kind, Elaine Dreamer Cook, tell our list, our viewing audience a little bit about what your background is and how perhaps you discovered getting involved in what you now call Handy Pro of the Space Coast. I can do that. All right, <laughs> good. Um, I started out, I am a Gator graduate from the University of Florida with okay. a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. And I started out the Space Center working as a systems engineer on the floor, uh, working on the space shuttle. Okay, wow. And from there I worked myself up. I actually did go to California and worked with Rocketdyne, space operations company, um, working on the space shuttle main engines with them. And then I came back because I miss Brevard County mm -hmm. a lot. I, I don't came, blame you. <laughs> thanks. I came back with Rocketdyne and continued on, was United Space Alliance for a while, and actually then got into a program management role with United Space Alliance, where I was in charge of in, um, industrial engineering for safety. Wow. And what that entailed was finding new technologies that uh, reduced risk to the workforce, the flight hardware, mm -hmm. and the public. So we were always looking for new technologies that we could develop and then implement. And Interesting. It was very cool. But a woman engineer, I, not being prejudiced by any means, but the fact is that you were probably one of the few engineers, I would assume, that was involved in the space shuttle program, or were there other women engineers involved too? There were a number of women engineers as I got older. Okay. It seemed like women started to come in a little bit after me. I was in a small class. I think there was only six of us graduating with a mechanical engineering degree from the University of Florida. Out of how many? Out of 200. Six out of 200. Okay. Wow. So that was, so. yeah, that was pretty small, but there were yeah. more like two years before me. I mean, two years after me, mm -hmm. people started, women started getting more and more into it. So by the time I was working at the Space Center, there were a lot of women. And the one woman that- But the younger woman's coming out of college at yes. that point. Okay. Who decided to get into industrial engineering, is that correct? Industrial engineering or mechanical engineering. Mechanical, okay. Or I saw a lot of the mechanical engineers moving into program management positions, much like myself. Interesting. Well, how, Elaine Dreamer Cook, did you decide to get involved with it? This is a franchise, is this correct? Yes, this is a okay. franchise. How did you decide to choose getting involved in having Handy Pro the Space Coast? And, and moreover, for our viewing audience here today, explain what Handy Pro the Space Coast does, perhaps. Let's start there, and then we'll go back to how you got involved in that aspect. Okay. Okay. Handy Pro of the Space Coast is part of the Handy Pro franchise, which was started in 1996 as okay. a handyman company. Okay. Um, just about five or six years ago, mm -hmm. they started realizing that people wanted to stay at home, when, even if they had a disability. Instead of moving on to assisted living, mm -hmm. they would rather stay at home. Yeah, I find that all the time, yes. And the technology was starting to change and starting to create itself 
so that more seniors and more people with disabilities could stay at home. You okay. could modify your home and actually keep it looking nice, mm -hmm. but still remain it safe. Mm -hmm. And this was all new things that were coming up, just like um, what I had gone through with the Industrial Engineering for Safety, oh. which was one of my favorite jobs. Uh, very interesting. So you brought up an important fact, Elaine Deremer Cook, the fact that people want, the majority of people, if they can, they really want to be able to age in place in their own home. If we think about it, you know, they've got surrounding items that they're familiar with, that they've collected perhaps over the years, they've got that good, comfy, lazy boy chair, <laughs> whatever it may be. But then oftentimes, especially, you know, I find, you know, if you drive up in certain sections and Merritt Island itself, which I, you're from as well, you've got homes that were built in the late 60s when the space program was really going crazy. But those homes there were very narrow to get into the bathroom. That's right. Um, and you may find that a senior... Okay, it might be a little difficult to lift that leg to get into the bathtub because there was no level shower area, perhaps. Right. Um, so what I'm leading to is probably, I would assume anyway, that probably one of the places that a senior may be considering modifying would be that bathroom. In right? the bathroom, yes, because the bathroom is probably okay. where most of your trips and falls occur. Well, I think that's been statistically proven, you know, whether it be a slippery floor or trying to, you know, get in and out of a bathtub, you know, a um, person may not have grab bars, for example. And that's one of the things that you offer too, correct? Yes, yes. And okay. we have many different grab bars. Okay. We have many different looks. We have many different looks for all of the showers and uh, we have bathtubs, you know, that uh, walk-in bathtubs. Mm-hmm anything to make the house look good but you know, be safer but be safer that's the bottom line um people sometimes as seniors they say well i can just get by just fine and then all of a sudden it takes something tragic like a fall and as a result they may break their hip they may end up being in rehab and you know the rest of this is just i get calls too from people saying my mother's getting out, I need help now, you know, not planning ahead. Right. But wouldn't you agree, Elaine Dreamer cook that part of the solution for a disabled or a senior is to be able to plan ahead to help prevent any tragedy or fall take place? And yes, we believe in that tremendously. And okay. the one thing that the housing um, market has been pushing is the universal design concept, okay. which is when you're in your 50s or 60s yep. and you're planning on staying in your home mm -hmm. for a long period of time, Right. maybe your kids have left, but you want to do a remodel. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about a big remodel. Well, why not look at, yes, how beautiful your house, you can make your house look, right. but also how safe you can make it. And that's when you call us in and we'll come in and assess your home for a minimal fee mm -hmm. that would be put towards any contracting uh, services that we do for you. Right. Uh, but we can come in and give you options with some rough order of magnitude budgeting estimates. Okay. That you can have an idea of what might be available to you to make this house as safe as possible. That way, you can also have all your friends, and I'm sure that you have friends and relatives mm -hmm. that might have a disability and right. might ha not be able to right now enjoy your home or enjoy the family get-togethers that you have. And that's an important issue, Elaine, because the fact is, you know, you have company, and let's say your cousin um, is in a wheelchair. Now, there's no way, you know, that that cousin is going to be comfortable, first of all, getting through narrow that's right. doorways, that's not going to happen. So that person is going to need help, assistance, just getting from one to the other, and not to mention, you know, if there's no shower, um, you know, 
that would be a very difficult task. So when people think about home modifications, they may not be thinking just for themselves, but for their friends, their relatives, people that want to visit. You know, you don't want to say, oh, I'm sorry, you know, or the cousin saying, I'm sorry, I just can't come visit you because it would just be too difficult for me to navigate your home to get around. That's right. So it's important in consideration, taking in consideration, you know, when you're thinking about a remodel, plan ahead. You know, if you're going to make some changes to your home, why not plan for the future for your cousin, your friends, but more important for you as you age mm -hmm. and you want to stay in your home and age with dignity. So that's the bottom line. But you have some interesting titles behind you now that they <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> she's so humble here I'll tell you. <laughs> but you know you talked about your background being an engineer working at the shuttle program and so forth and and ex how exciting that was during the heydays of the yeah, shuttle fun. program a lot of fun a lot of excitement and after all that's why we're the space ghost but that's right things continue but she Elaine Dreamer Cook decided to get into home modification and the name of your company is called Handy Pro of the Space Coast. But along the way, you have done some uh, continued education that qualifies you to have some pretty strong titles behind your name. I'm going to start with a PE. What does a PE stand for? PE is Professional Engineer. It's an engineering license in the state of Florida. Okay. So I do have the engineering license in the state of Florida, which is actually a very rigorous process that you have to go through All and right. testing. Okay. To get that. So if you look at her business card and you see all these different, you know, letters behind it, we're trying to explain some of her uh, qualities and education that Elaine Dreamer Cook has to offer by having the handy pro of the Space Coast for home modifications. She, you also have a CGC. Let's explain that one. Okay, that's Certified General Contractor. I just got that license. That's a general contractor's license within the state of Florida, oh. which allows me to contract skyscrapers if I wanted to, <laughs> but I don't want to. I want to do home mods. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line. Okay, so now, Elaine Dreamer Cook has had an engineering background, and she was one of six women out of how many? About 200. 200. And now when you think about a general contractor, I haven't met any women general contractors, come to think of it. And so now you're in, I should say, a minority entering the field being a general contractor. So now you can have and supervise different, whether it be a plumber, electrician, mm -hmm. but you take the responsibility as kind of like the umbrella over right. these people, okay, to get done the whole modification that's necessary. Mm -hmm. Which is very much like what I used to do at the Space Center, too. There you go. A lot of people think I'm brand new, but I'm, I'm not really. I've done the, the construction and been in charge of a group of techs okay. at the Space Center. All right, so your experience just goes to the next level with Handy Pro of the Space Coast. That's right. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now you also have what's called a CEAC. What does that designation mean? That means I am a Certified Environmental Access Consultant, which is a online course that teaches you how to bring in the occupational therapists, the families and everyone to assess a home and determine what an option would be for mm -hmm. somebody who needs who wants to stay at home okay but might have a disability okay that's that's important as well and then we keep going folks she has <laughs> c-a-p-s what does that stand for and that is a certified aging in place specialist Ah, oh, now we kind of hit home with that one too. Yes, and that is more on the construction side. It's about right. a, it's a three day course mm -hmm. uh, given by the National Home Builders Association. Okay, and it gets into all the different products that are out there and looks at the assessment on more of a construction basis. Interesting. So Very between interesting. the two of them, they really 
work so, well. So again, together. that's an aging in place specialist. Yes, and it's an AARP designation too. They so, recognize that. So seniors listening to this program and watching this television program today, you know, here's an individual that has these designations, and that's one of the things that got your attention. Hey, I want to have somebody who is a specialist in aging in place. Not everyone has that. No. Not no. even close. So that even makes Handy Pro, the Space Coast, a more important company to call for any type of home modification because you have this qualifications behind you yes. and continued education. But if you think that's all, folks, there's another one yet. <laughs> I mean, your list just keeps getting longer and longer. I know, I'm but telling this is you. the end. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. You have an ECHM. Explain to the viewers what that title means. Okay, that's an Executive Certificate in Home Modifications by the University of Southern California Ooh. School of Gerontology. And that was a five segment course, 10, ten week course. Um, where they took basically everything we learned in the CEAC and the CAPS mm -hmm. and took it further. So you're learning more wow. about the construction, more about the medical aspects of the disabilities mm -hmm. and how the construction industry can help to make uh, it safer for people with disabilities and how to write it out, mm -hmm. how to explain it in a report format because okay. that's what we do with the assessments. Yeah, you have to keep track of every document and every assessment and uh, into, a, I would assume, a great detail, correct? Yes, and I do write, when I do an assessment, we write a report that explains, you know, ranks out what we think would be your first option and okay. what we think would be a second option. Okay. Um, and then it also helped us to understand some certain funding paths because there are public funding paths that we can go through too. Uh, besides the the private funding paths like the home equity loans and you know getting a second mortgage on your home or something like that if you wanted to do a home improvement and oh. this would be considered a home improvement okay let's talk about the funding options in the in home modifications if we can go through maybe some different um, items that of consideration so we'll start with maybe you said private funds that's number one mm -hmm. okay because that's quick I mean, if, if okay. you can get a home equity loan, you can have us come in, do the assessment. As soon as the parts come in, we can get ready to go. Okay. Um, with the public funding, you usually have to wait. How approximately how long has that been your experience? I've seen them wait, you know, a couple weeks for maybe a grab bar, or it can be a couple years. Wow, okay, so for quite a, a span of time full, there. Yes, it depends on the service and it depends on how um, how you are part of that service or how, okay. how you would be considered as part of that service. Okay, what about this long-term care insurance out of the picture at all? Yes, the long-term care insurance, okay. you need to look at your insurance policy to make sure that it has home modifications listed on it. Okay. Some of the uh, long-term care insurance companies are starting to add home modifications so you can age in place instead of going to an assisted living facility. It costs less. Well, that's a very, very strong point. Thank you, Elaine yes. Dreamer Cook, for bringing that up. So it could cost a senior less money by making and doing some home modifications versus spending several thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. and going to, you know, a facility. If you look at the facilities, they can be anywhere from four to $10,000 a month, depending right. on where you are. Exactly. If you got a home equity loan for, say, it's a $60,000 change, so mm -hmm. that means the whole house, you know, you're going through the house and you're making sure everything's safe. Mm -hmm. So um, you could get a home equity loan that would be probably $500 a month and then add money into your home mm -hmm. again. Into the value of the into home. Into the value of the home. Into the value, wow. Well now, I think if I'm not mistaken, you said the VA has a um, HISA grant program maybe available too? Yes, they do. Okay. To vets that uh, qualify for it. 
Um, they need to go back to the Veterans Administration and ask about the HISA grant program. Okay. But that could also be a home modification uh, grant that you could get uh, and then have us come in and do whatever home modification that you were granted. Okay. Well, that's something I bet a lot of veterans had no idea that might be available to them. It's just like, you know, many, many of my surviving spouse callers that were married to a veteran who may need some extra help in the home just, you know, taking care of her. Uh, and her, yet her husband served in time of war. 90, I, he served 90 days and out of that, one day in war. Mm -hmm. She may be missing out on the VA aid and attendance program. So the VA has some wonderful programs available for people. And that's one of the reasons why we do television, radio, print, is to try to educate our readers, our listeners, our television viewers, because there's so much information that is available and there's wonderful resources in Brevard. It's just a matter of reaching the phone and calling our hotline at 321-473-7770. And let's try to put you in touch with the appropriate resources. And the VA has got a lot of different segments that are unbeknownst for people who need to know more about. Mm -hmm. And the HISA program is just one that you just talked about. All right, Elaine Dreamer Cook, Handy Pro of the Space Coast. You got your general contractor's license. And if I'm not mistaken, you were telling me briefly that you're gonna be sending some paperwork if you haven't already regarding what's called a Medicaid state waiver service. Yes. Whoa, let's explain to the audience what that's all about. Okay, now that I have the contractor's license, I am able to become a provider for the Medicaid state waiver service. Uh, this is for people with disabilities on the Medicaid system mm -hmm. that are waiting for home modifications, such as ramps, such as all sorts of, you know, types of home modifications, roll-in showers, mm -hmm. um, walk-in tubs, things like that. Right. And I will now be able to service Brevard County with that. I know that there are not many of us able to do that. I will be one of them very, very soon. I've already talked with them. They said Excellent. my paperwork is almost complete. Fantastic. So that opens up a whole realm of possibilities of people getting through the Medicaid state waiver service to have that be now an option to look at. And I, there's how many carriers would you say there might be involved in that? Do you know offhand? I don't know. Okay. But I do know that the providers, a lot of them have been waiting because there are not enough providers. Wow. Wow. So if somebody has on that program and Medicaid and getting that kind of assistance, that's just going to make a world of difference. Yes, it it's should. just going to make a world of difference. Um, if somebody's just for the first time and they're planning ahead for a home modification and they're trying to budget, okay, I don't know how much this is all going to cost. Would you say roughly what's the range that you've experienced and as, as far as the actual cost of a home modification? Well, a bathroom can be between six and ten thousand okay okay so that would be a, a bathroom modification such as a roll-in shower or um, a walk-in tub okay a whole house modification could be as much as sixty thousand it depends on if it's a if it's a uh, two-story okay then you need access to the second story that can be done in oh. two different ways do you offer the the yes seat that goes up yes, the, the steps on the rail yes wow. we also offer a vertical power lift which wow. sometimes that works out better. Interesting. So there's all different products, services that you encompass with Handy Pro, the Space Coast. And that's why we go in and do an assessment to make sure that we find the best solution. And I have to say, from one woman to another, you know, you can have a general contractor come in and say, okay, this is what we're gonna do, but I bet you offer more of a woman's touch to it. Am we, I wrong on that? 
I uh, we instruct our guys and I listen. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. You need to listen to your clients to make sure that you understand their needs. Because sometimes um, we'll get people that say, I just, I wanna go up to the second floor. Well, why do you need to go up to the second floor? Mm -hmm. And then you find out that maybe it's because they wanna take their trains up to the second floor. We had a, a client like that. Mm -hmm. okay. Who wanted to take it, well, yeah, okay. Now though, I can look more at at first, he said he wanted an elevator, mm -hmm. and now the chairlift works, and that's a little cheaper. Oh, it'd be, I would bet that would be cheaper than a whole elevator. Well, we've got about a minute left, Elaine Dreamer Cook. What would you like to suggest to our viewing audience about HandyPro of the Space Coast? If you're doing a home remodel, and you're planning on doing a home remodel, please give us a call and we can come in and do an assessment of your home for a minimal fee that if you do choose us would be credited towards anything that we do. But at least then you would know your options and you would have an idea of, of a budget. And what would be the best number for them to reach you at? Would be 321-208-7989. Just say that one more time. 321-208. 7989. Okay. Well, we've been talking with Elaine Jeremer Cook today with Handy Pro of the Space Coast. And for those who are even considering remodeling, by all means, look for the future. Think about what's going to be in your best interest, your friends' or relatives' interest in making your home a safe home. No preventive, no accidents in the future the way it's meant to be so that you can stay in your home and age with dignity. I think the bottom line is is that give her a call and I want to thank you for watching today's episode of Helping Seniors. I'm Joe Stackler. Thank you for joining our program today. I'd like to remind you that our senior information line is available to you at 321-473-7770. There you can get help and direction that could be helpful for your specific situation or circumstances. The work of helping seniors is very important, but we can't do it alone. That is why our sponsors here in Brevard County are so important. I'd like to thank our many area sponsors, businesses and medical providers who support the mission of helping seniors that help us carry the cost of our media efforts. If you'd like to join us either as a business partner or simply donate as an individual, we would welcome your call at 321-473-7770. You're always welcome to visit our website at www.helpingseniorsofbrevard.org. Thanks so much for your help. It does make a difference.